What's up? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to set a certain PS4 button as a weapon slot. This is what I mean by that. So as many of you probably already know, if you're on mouse and keyboard, you have set keybinds for each one of your weapon slots. If I click two, I'm going to my shotgun. If I click Z, I'm going to my last slot. So at any point while I'm on any one of these weapons, I can get to any one in a single click of a button. This is one of the main downfalls of controller. On controller, you have to click L1 or R1 every time you wanna switch weapon. So if I'm trying to get here to my grappler, I either have to click R1 one, two, three times to get over, or I can click L1 one, two times to get over to my grappler. Either way, it takes extra time and every second in Fortnite counts. To be able to get the shot off right before the other person does, it can save you your whole match if you were just able to go straight from your grappler straight back to your shotgun without any delay trying to switch, sit there and swap through. And there's air that comes along with this. If you try to go too fast and you accidentally go one over and then you're on a gun that you don't want to be on there's just a lot of air that comes with this system before we get too far into the video i don't want to get any console players hopes up this only works for a controller on pc because you need the application steam and the controller settings in steam to actually get this to work i'm very sorry but at least i save you some time so you don't have to watch this entire video and then realize it doesn't work in console so first of all if you already follow me which a lot of people do follow me for the fps dominator strike pack it's a little add on the ads on paddles on the controller if you follow me for that and you've already set this up on your pc through steam and use that and followed my tutorial then you're sitting pretty good because you've already done 90 percent of the work needed to get this to function if that's not the case then here's how you do it go ahead and make sure your controller is plugged in to a usb port on the back and then go ahead open steam as an administrator so first of all, we're gonna end up needing to head into big picture mode, but before we do that, we have to add Epic Games Launcher to Steam. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna click on library. I already have it in here, obviously. But you scroll down to the bottom left, click add a game, add a non-Steam game, and you click browse. Now, once you're here, you're gonna follow this file location at the top, and you're gonna click Epic Games Launcher. You're gonna double click that. It's gonna have a check mark in the box, and you just click add selected programs. And once you've done this, you'll wanna come over here and click big picture mode. Go ahead, plug in your controller and see if it works in Steam. At this point, you should be able to navigate through Steam using your thumbsticks on your controller. If that isn't the case, go ahead, come over here to settings and click settings. Come down here to controller settings and make sure you click PlayStation configuration support. It should show your PlayStation 4 controller. If you click on that and click preferences, you'll be able to change your controller bar and change the name. So as you can see, I have mine as purple and my controller bar is purple to match my thumbsticks. Now at this point, your light should be on. You should be able to navigate. And once you're able to do that, go ahead, click on library, click on your Epic games that you just added, click manage shortcut and click controller configuration. Once you're here, you're going to want to come down here, click browse configs. You're going to go down to where it says templates and you're going to select the gamepad template. You're going to come down here and click apply configuration. Now you probably get the idea of how we're going to map a single PS4 button to a specific weapon slot. For this purpose, let's go ahead and picture this. I always have my shotgun in my first weapon slot. On um, my PC binds, my first weapon slot is the number two on my keyboard. So let's go ahead and say we want to set square as my shotgun slot. Every time I click square, it's going to go straight to my first weapon slot, straight to my shotgun. Click on this. It's going to show the Xbox buttons, but obviously you probably know where X, circle, triangle, and square is. So go ahead and click that. And we're going to go ahead and set it as two because two on my PC binds is my first weapon slot. We're going to go ahead and click back and we're simply going to click done. At this point, you can go ahead and exit out of Steam and then you're going to want to go ahead and restart your PC and make sure you unplug your controller before you restart your PC. And while you're waiting for your PC to restart, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. If I helped you with this video or taught you how to do this and it's helped you out in any way, drop me a like. I 
make some of these tutorials slash helping videos. I make some gameplay videos. I make some content videos. I do a little bit of everything, but stay in the realm of Fortnite. So if you enjoy that type of stuff, feel free to subscribe. So you're back on your home screen. Your PC's all loaded up. You don't have your controller plugged in. Follow these exact steps. Go ahead, run Steam as administrator again. Click on library. Find your Epic Games Launcher, click play on your Epic Games Launcher. Go ahead, click your library where your Fortnite's gonna show up. Take your controller, plug your controller in. Your light should blink and come on and a message should pop up in the bottom right hand corner where my face cam is saying that it's using your controller configuration that you set up. At this point, you can go ahead and launch into the game. Now you're in your game, you have your loadout, but before you forget, head into your controller settings and make sure to unbind whatever button you set as your weapon slot button. You don't want it to perform as a double function, that's just gonna mess everything up. So just go ahead and you're gonna have to unbind it. At this point, you can see I'm scrolling through my weapons at any given point, I can click square. It's gonna show PC binds, but I'm actually clicking square. And it's just gonna function as a PC bind. So at any point throughout any of these, I click square, go straight back to that. I can be on my grappler in my four slot, click square, back, just like that. Now obviously you might have to mess with it a little more to figure out which bind you actually want it as, but it is very useful to be able to go ahead and go straight from your grappler up click square and you're back on that that easily that's one of the biggest downfalls of controller is switching through weapons so now that this is a real function that you can use it is very very useful and as far as i know it's perfectly fair to use in game because you're playing through steam it's not like it's a mod or anything crazy like that it's literally the application steam which every pc has which you're available to play fortnite through so once again if this little tutorial help you at all don't forget to drop a like and go ahead and subscribe for more fortnite related content more tutorials more tips in the future and last of all leave any questions or anything you guys have to say down in the comments below i will be reading all of them i will be responding to all of them i'll help all you guys out if you need it and thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one